thought I'd do a quick little video on how to use Vice, a Commodore 64 emulator. Probably the best emulator on a Windows, Mac or Linux operating systems. So I'll just give you a quick rundown, where to get the ROMs from, and um, how to apply them to the emulator and how to set up your joysticks and screens and all that. So um, I'll just give it, a, we'll give it a quick go. Let's go. Okay, first things first, um, go to www.viceteam.org and this is where you get the emulator so what you do you go down again this is pretty hard with just looking at this go down to download vice and then just fi find the relevant operating system most of them I've got a 64 bit um, OS Windows 7 for some reason that doesn't work, so uh, the 32-bit version still works fine. I'm not going to download it, but I've already downloaded it, so um, don't need to do that. So next, what you have to do is set up a folder, extract the file in there. Okay, so the file that you'd be downloading most likely would be WinVice 2.2, right there. And what you do is abstract it and everything's there your best bet is before you extract is to create a folder for it to go in so um, I've already done that so I'll just skip to there I mean I mean you guys should know how to unzip a file so I'm not going to get into those you know into that so anyway next we should go down to the file and it's there, right vice. That's that's the folder. And also, uh, before you actually do anything, create a ROMs directory, which I have here. Before you start getting some ROMs. So now, once that's been downloaded, I recommend you going to c64.com. Not all the ROMs are here. But um, most of the good ones are, so I don't know you can... Anyway, there's your menu there. Give me a second. I've got a brain fart at the moment, so I'm trying to think of what game to get. Um, let's just get a Kung Fu game or something. Let's do Kong. Let's see what that brings. Kung Fu Master. Oh, we'll go for, we'll go for Ya Kung Fu. Download. There it is there. As you can see, it's mega quick. They're really small files. Now, that I've got a ROMs directory, best thing to do is to right click, copy, I don't know if you can let me go back, but no. Let's go back to Vice, put it in your ROMs directory, in case I've already got a game in there, but there you go. So they're D6, D64 files, okay? So let's go back. Scroll down. And look for the X64XE. And it brings you to the start of a C64, just like you got the real deal. Now, before you do anything, I recommend you go to settings and set up your joysticks. Now, the first port on the C64 isn't really used, it's only really used for two players, but if you are playing a one player game, it's usually port two. And what you do there, you can pick. See, I've got a control pad, so I'll select that. And we're done. But, if you don't have a control pad, go to settings, go back there, and select key set A, and then config key set A. Then you've got all your options there, south for down, and so on. Really easy to set up. So I'll just pull it back to here. Okay. So now we want to play some games, okay? 
go to file attach disk image drive A well, drive A is the first disk drive so that's where you put all your your ROMs on your images go to ROMs okay I want Ya Kung Fu really easy select the file right there so, uh, C64 games their exe files are PRG files so it's pretty much the same thing double click that file it will load loading 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 okay crack intro This game is one of my favourites. Excellent port. No, I don't want a trainer. I don't want to cheat. Wait and wait and there we go. And there we go. It's working properly. I've got my control pad. You can see that. And there we go. I can't really play with one hand, but you get the gist of it. And that's how you um, use Vice. Really, really easy. And when you want to exit, just go to File. You can just do Reset. I always recommend Hard Reset. Now, just another quick tip, and it's really easy to do. If you have a game that's got more than one disc, you would normally you would load it normally. And then when it says insert disk 2, you would always do that the same. So you just go back to file and you attach it. And then once you go back into the game, you can press spacebar and it will automatically load. It's that easy.